Hi everyone, in the previous episode I restored the drive shaft. If you haven't seen it yet, check the link in the description. Today, we're going to talk about the rear axle, including the half shafts, differential, and all the bearings. Let's get started. I start by removing the rear wheels, followed by the brake drums. Oh wow, look at all that rust. But I promise you, appearances can be deceiving. It didn't turn out to be that difficult. Here's the big guy. Listen to that sound, it's really bad. I just hope there is oil in the differential. There's something there, but I'm not sure if it's transmission oil. Okay, we'll come back to it a bit later. Now I have to unscrew something that hasn't been touched since it was manufactured. Perfect. I take out both half shafts and unscrew the leaf spring plates, removing their U-bolts in the process. Finally, prying up the axle with the mounting lever and dismantling it. Do you think I'm not stressing out here? Oh, okay, I'm putting the half shafts back in place and screwing them on because I have no desire to wash the sand off them. Another sandblasting session allows me to get rid of years of rust and reach the clean metal. But I'm curious, if you got around to repairing the axle, would you sandblast it too? On one hand, what matters most is the operability of the assembly, and on the other hand, it gives you aesthetic pleasure and additional protection for the metal for a couple of years to come. Especially for our viewers. Promo code TIPS434 for a 5% discount on orders of 70 euros or more. Available for one month after this video is posted. Again, I pretend I'm not struggling. Bam! It looks impressive. I dismantle the half shafts again and proceed to disassemble them. First you tackle the bearing snap ring. I cut it off using an angle grinder. Check out this shot. It cuts as smoothly as a knife through butter. Auto Dock App. All car parts at the lowest prices on your phone. Try it for yourself. Okay, now I'll add a few more strokes, hoping the bearing will come off the half shaft. Sadly, it's not enough, so I'm heading to the press. Just 15 tons of pressure and the bearing's off. All that's left is to knock the bearing out of its seat. I'm just repeating the same process with the other half shaft. Looks a lot easier, doesn't it? What do you think this red paste I'm washing off with a cleaner is? I also clean off any leftover dirt and grease from the shafts. And now the cherry on the cake, the differential. This is my weak spot because I'm losing my mind over the planetary gear set design. Look at this geometric beauty. Oh yes, I am now cleaning the differential of wear products and oil. I unscrew the pinion flange, then move on to the adjusting nut lock and, of course, the nut itself. Perfect. I repeat the same steps on the other side. Now I'm dismantling the caps. Oops, give me back the race. Removing the planetary gear set. Now the pinion and the pinion bearing spacer. I'm removing the differential oil seal with a puller. Now we can dismantle the remaining bearings. How many are there? Okay, I'll head back to the axle to remove the oil seal and the slightly rusty, but still seeming to be made of rubber, O-ring. Now I want to see clean metal. Alright, great, I'll keep it up. Oh yes, there's another side. Everything looks good from the outside. Now we need to clean the housing from the inside. Yes, everything is now ready for assembly starting the process by installing the oil seals on the half shafts. It's important to do everything carefully, without using too much force. 
Now carefully hammer the bearings in with a rubber mallet. I'm installing the dust boot and pressing the bearing onto the half shaft. Don't forget the snap ring. By the way, it even has its own snap ring. Ha! Huh. Doing the same for the other side. Now it's time for the remaining bearings. Great, all that's left is to reassemble and adjust the differential. I'm starting with the pinion, bearing spacer, bearing oil slinger, oil seal, and pinion flange. Following the manual, I'm making the correct adjustments to the clearances in the final drive and the preload of the bearings. Done. Installing the nut locks. The nearest gasket is sold on a neighboring continent. Okay, I'll use sealant this time. Connecting and screwing the differential to the axle. Watch the sealant squeeze out. Great. Just like with the prop shaft, I tape up the surfaces that don't need painting. I thoroughly degrease the parts and start applying primer. Finally, we can start painting. So as not to break the color scheme, the color will be the same as the prop shaft, matte black. I advise you not to neglect wearing a respirator when doing paintwork. Done. A little unpacking ASMR. I definitely like the result. But there's another episode waiting for you, where I tackle the manual transmission and clutch. For me, this will be the most challenging and final part of restoring the drivetrain, and for you, the most interesting video. See you there.